Hey guys, Dell is here, and the new update for the Melee Combat 2.0 is finally here. I know that you guys are anxious to play with this and to create your own games, and I will be creating a series of video tutorials showing how to use the new features. Everything since basic stuff, creating character, how to set up a hitbox, creating weapon, and uh, and of course the new inventory system okay uh, let's start with the basics uh, once you successfully import uh, download and import the third person controller you will have these two folders if you purchase the basic locomotion you have only the basic you if you purchase the melee you have both okay the basic has its own documentation here and the melee here so let's start with something basic like project organization this is very important you will create a new folder that it is going to be your project and you can add your stuff here like my 3d models my animator controllers animator controllers my prefabs Okay, let's download the character. I love this little guy so much. <laughs> He's so awesome. Let's download him. I will be using this little guy here because uh, I received a lot of emails saying that I can't configure his character or something like that. What we want here, we don't need scripts. We want just the model. We don't need scenes. Okay, I imported the, my character is here. Let's drag and drop to my 3D models. Let's find our character here. It is this little guy, I guess. We use humanoid characters. Make sure to check this humanoid. Before we create our character, let's take a look at the FBX file first. He has a animator component, which is excellent. Every model should have. And make sure that your character doesn't have any extra colliders or scripts attached into it. He should be clean, just like this model is. Okay. Well, let's create our character then. Hit in vector here and we have basic locomotion create basic controller or melee combat and create melee controller let's create the basic first drag and drop your fbx file here and the model is ready to go the animator controller a lot of people uh, not a lot but uh, some people are asking me about this guys this is just the animator controller you can find it here at the animator and the best way is to each character to have their own animator controller because then you can change these animations and it will only work for this one so let's make a copy of the original here and right outside let's call it uh, tom little guy put here this new animator here uh, drag and drop this you can also uh, click in this little icon and this window will show every animator controller available in your project okay camera list data in this case we want to go at the third person normal third person and hit create and let's test this little guy to see if everything works properly Oh my god, he looks so nice in these animations. <laughs> Jumps, he rolls, he crouches, he goes into a strafe mode. It works very nice. Alright. So, okay. Now we have our character. We can create a prefab of the this way. We have our character here. We have our animator here. You can put 
new animations here you can replace the animations if you want uh, and your prefab is here and if you need to update the project the the template you can simply delete this folder and import the new version you can always find the new version here and check for updates okay and uh, melee combat check for update and it will bring you to the asset store page if a new update is available a button will be here to import the new update okay cool let's take a look into some of our options here we have health and uh, health recovery if you want health recovery you can put here stamina stamina recovery type uh, what type of depth it will play if animation if animation with ragdoll or ragdoll only of course you need to add a ragdoll to the character uh, a lot of you guys uh, tells me that oh my character is floating i don't know what's going on blah blah, blah. Uh, you need to check your ground layer the ground layer of the character is set to default if your floor have another layer the character will not have a floor he will keep floating like this your ground layer to default and he will be fine okay stop move layer this is interesting you can make a wall and uh, put into the stop move layer and of course outside player and the player will not walk, keep walking in place he will uh, stop if you don't have a stop move layer it's default the player will keep walking in place okay next is locomotion type if you're making a shooter most of the shooters not all of them of course but most of them use uh, only strafe this will make the character move only in strafe uh, you can rotate and the character will rotate with the camera okay you go uh, left and right and the character will keep keep facing forward okay and the free with strafe you can have a free camera keep uh, turning around the around the character and you are free to move whatever you want then you press tab and he will turn into the strafe mode tab again and free okay Real control is new. You can now control your roll direction. Random idle time is if you have uh, random idle animations, you can put into locomotion random idle. You can assign the animations here and uh, add a value here, like three every three seconds it will play a random animation okay jump options jump air control if you turn it off the character will jump forward you cannot control while he's in the air if you turn it on then you can control just like the row jump forward um, if you add more force he will jump further uh, forward like this and jump force you can also like a superhero make a super jump movement speed here you can increase or decrease your animation speed like if i want to move very slow the character will move very very slow there and increasing this way you can have more control even if your animation is in place or put motion it will work 
so you have every every option available to add a extra speed now let's talk about input in this new update we have included a input manager you can open input manager here and you can set up uh, our default actions like move the character jump row strafe all of these default actions you can set here if you don't want your character to jump you simply uh, click the button use here or if you want to change uh, the input on the joystick for example from x to a you click here if you want to use a axis you need to check axis here okay um, okay now let's create a mini combat the only difference between these two is that let me select a vbot here let's go with the the green one pretty cool huh uh, animator I want my melee combat camera and create great here is my vbot and you will see that the only difference is that we use a melee combat input because it has extra melee combat inputs methods here we can attack strong blocky and lock on you can add more uh, of these methods into the scripts the melee combat input comes from the third person input so every method that the third person input has the melee combat will heritage okay uh, let's try something different here gameplay input style we have click and move here and we do have a prefab here somewhere let's try it search here for top down cursor just drag and drop this and assign this and we need to also change our camera state from third person camera to top to isometric hit play and <clears throat> using the same uh, script of third person controller now i can create my isometric game like Diablo okay so the next thing that we need to take a look before we finish this basic tutorial is the ragdoll so let's create a new character here uh, please pay attention that you cannot uh, select a third person controller a prefab already existing that already contains a third person controller and other components this will only create a mess so remember that you need to select a clean fbx or prefab okay let's go with the red right now um this and this okay to add a ragdoll is really really simple just go to invector basic locomotion components ragdoll it will automatic automatically assign the bones for you so just hit create and you can see that it creates all the necessary colliders for the regular to work but i can see here that my head is missing uh, let's take a look at that let's go to our head bone here and oh we can see that for some reason and uh, the this cap this sphere collider is very wrong so let's fix that by just doing this okay looks looks great now let's test i have a hotkey for active to activate the ragdoll is the key b so just hit b at any time and you can activate your ragdoll okay well this concludes our basic tutorial and the next tutorial will be about creating a melee weapon and adding a melee manager to your character okay see you there